Call number two, we have some how light. For call number three, we have some Ebonite. And for call number four, we have some Magneto. So if you chose the Tangerine Chords, you're definitely in the right place. Let's look into your question. And let's get into it. So we have the King of Wands. Wow. So this is an absolute yes. Oh, and with the Ten of Cups, this is a freaking big yes. Yes, 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 yes. So this could be about you taking action in a certain direction. It could be about you making a certain shift. Should I do this? Should I? I feel like it's more of an action-oriented question. Should I do this? Um, if it is not, if it is actually just another <laughs> simple question, the answer is always yes. And in a very positive way. So if, for example, you asked, um, let's say, for example, if I go to this college, am I, or if I connect to give this relationship a chance, am I going to get hurt? The answer is no, because the thing is, um, it's going to be a positive yes, okay? So it's going to be um, in the positive outcome of a situation, you know? Um, that is what I mean. So again, if you were wondering, like, am I going to get hurt? Is this going to be bad for me? Is this going to put me on the wrong path? The answer is no, this is really positive. This situation that you're asking about is really, really positive. So this is a freaking big yes. Let's get some oracles to get some more information. But we have third party. We have shadow work. Interesting. We also have be grateful, self-codependency, forgiveness. Okay. Um, you are good enough. The answers you need are coming. And we also have confidence. Yeah. It's like have confidence to say yes. And also have confidence to move away from anything that is pulling your confidence down. Because the thing is, this is something that is truly in line with you. And there could be like third parties or other people um, just trying to get into your business and to say, oh, you shouldn't do this. Oh, you shouldn't do that. And in fact, like if you do this, this is going to be really good for you. Okay. If this is about like, should I stay in a certain relationship? Yes, you should. And there could be other people saying, oh no, but this is so awful. Oh no, but you like nothing is ever going to work or this is just not it. I feel like that is not true. Okay. I feel like that is absolutely not true. The key here is I feel like, especially with this forgiveness, it could definitely be like, should I stay? Should I move on? Um, and I feel like this is definitely worth fighting for. Okay. Uh, know that you are good enough and that this relationship is definitely aligned with you. I feel like you have already done enough healing for you to be able to have this. And I feel like it's just a matter of you having a healing in this connection. If it is about that, okay? Um, if it is not about that, I feel like the key... What is happening with my voice? <clears throat> I feel like the key here is going to be you assuming what you want. And what you want is yours. And then it's just be grateful for the path that you've already taken so far. Be grateful for... The relationship that you have built with this person be grateful for these people that are trying to give you opinions but they don't really align with you anymore and now be grateful and proud that you were able to listen to yourself okay so there is this feeling of yes this is definitely a positive situation this will definitely have a positive outcome so have confidence in that belief have confidence in that vision okay and you could receive a little bit more information here in the near future, okay? But just know that whatever you choose to do about the situation, it should be on you and not on other people, okay? Because I feel like other people could try and get in the way and give too many opinions, maybe family, okay? So follow your heart, trust your heart, and trust that you're doing the right thing. If it feels right, it feels right, all right? So let's get here a little bit more information. Why is this a yes? Five of Wands, again, too many people. I feel like too many people are making you question this. Too many opini people's opinions. But <laughs> why is this a yes? And we have the sun. I really feel like this is going to make you so happy. Can we get one more? Oh, we have the three cups. And then we also have the Empress here, bottom of the deck. I feel like you've been through a lot. I feel like maybe you've been with third parties. If this is about a relationship, you've been um, prevented from following your dreams because your parents didn't allow it and they didn't want to see you do that. Um, you know, I, I feel like you've had your fair share of other people getting in the way, of other people sabotaging things, of other people just trying to control you, trying to do something. And 
why is this a yes? Because this is your ultimate happiness, okay? This situation right here is your ultimate happiness. And I really feel like this is worth fighting for. This is worth putting in the effort and the energy. This is something that is going to bring you a lot of fun, celebration, connection with possibly new people. This is going to be something that is going to allow you to connect with the right people in your life. Um, Three of Pentacles, there is a lot of like teamwork. And I feel like this is you and your spirit guides as well. And more than anything with this Empress, this is something that is aligned with you. This is something that makes you feel good. This is something that brings you fulfillment. That brings you courage and confidence. That confidence that you're trying to build. So I feel like the biggest key here is not letting other people get in the way. Is not letting other people try and tell you what to do or what to feel about the situation. It's on you, okay? And if you feel good in this situation, it's a freaking yes. Keep going, okay? I really feel like it is time for you to block out a little bit external situations here, external people, things getting in the way, and just focus on your heart. Just focus on how you feel about the situation um, because that is going to give you the answer you need, okay? This is the biggest yes ever because it's truly going to be your best life. It's going to be your dream life, okay? There could also be like, should I pursue music? Should, maybe uh, I'm also getting like, should I move out? It's a yes to all of those things, okay? Um, is it the right time for me to get pregnant? Yes. Am I going to have children? Yes, you are. And that is going to be such a big fulfillment. Um, am I ever going to get married? Yes, you are. And it's going to be with someone amazing that matches your energy beautifully and is going to be so different from what you're used to connecting with. There is a strong energy here of you deserve this. This is a yes because you deserve this. Because you've been through enough already. You've already had to deal with a lot of toxic people, a lot of toxic situations that just didn't allow you to move, a lot of trying to fit in and not really feeling like you belong. And you finally found something and you deserve to have it. Because all of those situations, they were trying to teach you something, so be grateful for those. But also be proud of yourself for knowing that you have learned, for knowing that you have transformed and grown, okay? So this is a heck yeah, pound of one. This is a freaking big, 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 big yeah, okay? Wow, so <laughs> this is short and sweet. I hope it gave you the information that you needed, all right? Um, but yeah, thank you so much for being here. I hope this resonated and helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me. That is the easiest way for you to support me. If you want to support me any further, we can get a private rating. The link is going to be down below. And you can also check out my Patreon for weekly messages around spiritual guidance, twin flames, divine counterparts, self-care, okay? All of those things uh, is going to be on Patreon. And that's essentially it. So I love you very much. I wish you the best. And hopefully, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, my pal number two. Welcome into your reading. So if you chose the how light, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. So we're going to have a card that is essentially going to be your immediate yes or no, maybe. Uh, and then we're going to have a, another card just to get a little bit more insight, a little bit more information um, and a little bit more depth into that yes or no. OK, and then we're going to put more Oracle and Tarot to confirm and to really figure out why is that a yes or no or maybe. OK, so we have the nine of swords. Hmm. And we have the two of cups. This is interesting. I would answer this question with a question. <laughs> would it make you happy? Or does it make you happy? Um, because there is a little bit of this feeling of you're overthinking this question and you already know the answer within. And I feel like it is a yes. But it could also be a no in terms of it could bring a lot of anxiety and struggles with you. So I feel like the answer here is what, because this could even be like, uh, should I go this way or should I go this way? And I feel like the answer is the one that brings you more peace and tranquility, is the one that brings you more calmness into your life and a lot less anxiety. Because I feel like right now, again, I, I really see a lot of overthinking over this question and a lot of just going back and forth and everything. And I feel like you're forgetting to follow your heart. I feel like you're thinking too much and not feeling enough. Um, that's why I answer this with a question. Do you feel good? How does it feel? How does it feel answering a yes? How does it feel answering a no? 
feel like your heart really has the answers but let's pull here some more oracle and then we're, we're gonna get the tarot but we have romantic feelings i figured we also have peace offering yeah we have home small things matter to you go with the flow or hydrate or like uh for example should i move to this place that is near water i feel like it's a yes i feel like whatever whatever your question is it's a yes but a win-win outcome is forecast you're very close to achieving your goal and we have justice and it's interesting uh, libra libra season specifically could be significant um there is this strong energy of justice is going to get on your side okay things are going to move in your favor the thing here is going to be following your heart absolutely and listening to your feelings okay i feel like it's also going to be about taking things slow i feel like for most of you this is about a relationship and it's like does this person have feelings for me are we going to get back together is this ever going to lead to something and i feel like the answer is yes okay um i feel like you do have romantic feelings for each other i feel like there is some sort of offering coming in and it's like you're very close to being together so it's almost like maybe the question was actually should i give up should i just move on and in that in that case i feel like it's a no okay because i really feel like the answer here is follow your heart your heart has the answer okay it may be that you may need to take things slow in this situation okay but i definitely feel like things are going to balance out for you either way all right and whatever you're desiring to have you're going to have it okay so let's get here some more tarot I'm, I'm really getting like for some of you this is like should i move on and i did see the emperor so it's like you're thinking about moving on while this person is thinking about making a move on you we have the king of pentacles have the ace of wands dude i really feel like something is about to reignite here especially with death there is some rebirth going on and I, I really really feel like some of you are asking like should i give up on a situation maybe this is just about a career right should i give up on a situation should i just focus on th something a little bit more stable should i just quit this passion of mine um and the answer is no in that case the answer is no because you are about to give up on something that is about to be reignited you're about to give up on something that is going to have a really positive outcome here yeah it's like it's almost like whatever you decide to do it's always going to come back around because that is what you're manifesting you're trying to manifest success anything that this path you're on it's not going to lead to that well it doesn't matter because you're manifesting the success in this particular or it's like you're manifesting success and the success is going to be here right you're manifesting love the love is going to be here so it's like it doesn't really matter what you do you're always going to come back to this so interesting because the especially in your pal it's having a little bit more depth into more than just like a yes or a no you know um but we also have justice and king of swords so again i feel like right now you could be going through a big massive um karmic cycle which doesn't have to be bad it's just karmic in the sense of it's something from past life right and it's being resolved um and now you're being able to tap into a better energy you're truly manifesting new beginnings here okay so i feel like you should go with the thing that ignites you the most i feel like you should go with the thing that your heart is really asking you to do okay and i really feel like you could be wondering like um maybe you're frustrated and again we have your romantic feelings so i kind of feel like this could be and we have two cups right um so i feel like this could be about a relationship but it could definitely be about just a career a career that you're really invested in that you have your heart in it and you could be about to give up because it feels like it's not stable enough it feels like it's not it's probably causing you a lot of anxiety and i feel like the key here is truly going to be believe breathe and focus first of all focus on yourself okay focus on creating that stability within yourself and focus on acknowledging the small little steps okay because again i feel like you're manifesting this you're manifesting this so the answer is really just wait and see <laughs> i feel like there's a little bit around that 
um in the meantime if you really need to like take a break pull back your energy and just again focus on you please do that focus on your career please do that focusing on your stable income please do that but don't give up on this completely so if this is about a career and you're thinking about giving up on a project um you can take a little break to re-inspire yourself, right? To kind of clear the room a little bit. And then when you get back, you, you could feel a lot more inspired. That is definitely valid. Um, but there is this feeling you're always going to come back to it. Because maybe you'll start dreaming of that career. Maybe you'll start dreaming about this person. Uh, it's like, I don't, I don't think your guys are going to allow you to fully move away from this situation, okay? If this was a situation around, again, does this person have feelings? Should I stay in this career? Um, is this creative project going to lead somewhere? Is this relationship going to lead somewhere? The answer is yes, okay? The answer is yes. I really feel like something really positive is coming through, but there are a few things that need to be cleaned up, okay? So it could be that it's a yes, maybe it's going to take a little bit of time. Again, Libra season. It's pretty close from where we are we're already in virgo season when this video is uploaded so it's pretty close um so yeah dude that's essentially it i don't know if it helped much <laughs> i hope it did but yeah so pile number two this is what i have for you uh i really hope it brought you a little bit of inside um but if it did, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe these yes or no are really specific for specific situations. But um, yeah, if you want to dive deeper into any of this, we can get a private rating. The link is going to be down below. You can also check out my Patreon uh, for weekly messages around twin flames, divine counterparts, spiritual guidance, especially, and self-care. Uh, all of that is going to be on my Patreon. So if you're interested in that, check it out. And... That's it. So I love it very much. I wish you the best and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hi there, pile number three. Welcome into your reading. So if you chose the Amazonite, you're definitely in the right place. Let's get here into your reading. And I do have to warn you, <laughs> this may be a little bit, a little bit more in more depth, with more depth than just a yes or a no. Okay, just say it. Because these readings have been a little bit um, weird. <laughs> Let's just call that. But we're going to get here um you're kind of an immediate yes or no okay and then we're going to get a little bit more depth into that yes or no and, and figure out if it is truly a yes or no or also we're also going to pull some oracle and tarot okay so just hang in there and let's see where we go we have the queen of cups so this is a yes with the knight of pentacles okay so this is definitely a yes but it's going to take some time okay so this is going to require a little bit of patience from you because I feel like this could have a really good outcome. And I feel like it is something that your heart is truly aligned with. And you feel really free, right? But it's going to require you to put in a lot of effort. It's going to require you to take step by step and have a lot of patience, have a lot of determination and perseverance more than anything. Um, yeah. It's almost like um, you could be wondering about success or something. And... It's like, yes, especially because I feel like the success that you're working on and the things that you're building on uh, right now, they are coming from a place of love, but it's going to be an effort. It's going to be a success that requires effort, that requires perseverance and daily practice, putting your energy in there every single day, okay? Um, if this is about a connection, yes, it can go pretty far, but it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to, you need to have some patience here, Okay. So let's see here what else we have. We have surprising. Interesting. We have hurt. We also have look at your options. The situation is not what it seems. Everything is going to be okay. So this is essentially confirming that it's a yes. <laughs> but we also have over here, your commitment is being tested. A new start is coming. It's so interesting that we have your commitment is being tested. And we also have friendship. So for example, if this is about a relationship, 
And it's like, is this going to go anywhere? Is this worth putting in the effort? Is this worth um, giving my attention to? Absolutely, because a new start is coming in this connection. But for now, maybe you just need to be friends. Maybe that is all you can be, you know? Um, and it's like your commitment to being with this person is being tested, but just know that you're being safe. Everything is going to be okay. If in the meantime, you prefer to look at your options and broaden your horizons a little bit, definitely do so. Um, but I feel like this is not something that is going to end in hurt. I feel like this is something that is truly, that can truly lead to something beautiful. Okay. I feel like there's still, especially with the hurt, um, it's almost like, especially with a hurt in the situation, it's not what it seems. If this is about a relationship, it's almost like the reason why this is slow and it's going to take some time or it is already taking some time, it's not because there is a lack of chemistry or a lack of love for each other. It's because there is too much hurt. There, is, there are too many wounds that need to be healed and need to be transmuted, okay? That's why I feel like for now, um, it, it's a yes, but it's going to take some time, okay? And... I feel like you, the, right now, this is more about building friendship with each other. If this is about that thing of like the success and working slowly towards something, it's um, a yes. I feel like it's going to come at an unexpected time, maybe even faster than you think. Um, but it's still going to take some time. And the thing is, it's, it's almost like if things are slow and if you need to persevere and everything, it's not really because things are not working in terms of you were doing something wrong, you're not aligned with this, you were actually pretty aligned. But first of all, your commitment is being tested and you could have some limiting beliefs for you to look at for this to work, okay? So with this look at your options, it's almost like maybe you even need that little confirmation. Um, maybe you even need that little confirmation. It's like you need to look into other business opportunities, into other other places, other colleges, other homes, uh, you need to look into other people, figure out your options to see that in the end, it's always going to lead back to this person, to this situation, to that home that you loved, right? I just feel like it's going to take some time. But in the end, it's a yes. All right? So... It's almost like in the end, everything is going to be okay. Let's get here some more tarot. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, so right now, things may not totally be where you would like them to be. Have the Five of Cups. Okay, we also have the Five of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Death card. So a lot of transformation definitely needs to happen here. And I feel like, I feel like a lot of transformation needs to happen in all aspects because there is still a lot of hurt and wounds that definitely need to be looked over. And the thing is, it's, it's, it's wound, it's, it's a wound that it's emotional, but it's also a wound that left repercussions mentally in the sense of, for example, if this is about success and like you wanting to go in a certain path in your career, it's going to take some time because I feel like you need to review where, first of all, where are you focusing on, especially with this Four of Cups? It could be that you could already have something so beautiful, but you're focusing on what is not working. Maybe you're already having little small successes, but you're focusing on what is failing, right? Um, this is also something around, for example, in your childhood, you really wanted to be a doctor, but your parents kept telling you, oh no, that is not going to be possible. That is way too hard. You need to think of something else. That is something that left you emotionally sad and I don't know, like missing, missing a part of you because you stopped believing in that, but it also left repercussions mentally even if you heal that emotional part and it's like no I'm ready to get back to this I'm ready to make this happen um that could actually be something it's like yes you're going to be successful as a doctor right whatever you apply but you may need to study you may need to learn more um but the repercussions that happen mentally it's like oh but being a doctor is way too hard being I'm never going to be able to have a, something stable with the doctor has a doctor you know um 
So I feel like this is going to require you to do a little bit of healing. If this is about a relationship, um, maybe that's why you're kind of encouraged to look at your options. Is that maybe you still have something else to heal. But I feel like this is also coming from this person's side. Where it's like you're a freaking queen of wands. And you probably have already healed. Look at that empress. Right? You could be at a really beautiful place with yourself. But this person is still in, in a transitional place. And they still have a lot of things to figure out. They still have um, some things to clear up. They still have a lot of blockages, especially mentally. And with this Knight of Wands, they could still be in a place of fearful of commitment. Okay? And that is something that needs to be transformed. So, again, it's a yes. I feel like you could explore your options but then you figure out yeah nah, i'm not really feeling it so you actually end up being back again with this person and at that time maybe this person is already it, it's ready then right so it's almost like um not necessarily that, that kind of sounds bad has a how how i was saying it um i was going to say like maybe you need a little bit of entertainment as you wait for this person um but i feel like it's more around if you don't want to wait around for this person you feel like i have other things to do um then explore your options if you're still kind of confused if this is the person explore your options why not okay and i feel like if this is about career and success there's this feeling of try to open your horizons a little bit and maybe look into multiple streams of income because that could help you inspire and figure out multiple points it's like you have more triggers so you have more opportunities to heal and to figure out what are my wounds how am i hesitating how am i holding back that kind of thing okay i feel like there's definitely still things to heal that's why it's going to take some time all right so my pile number three um this is what i have for you it's a yes but it's going to take some time all right but um I really feel like something, just to recap, I really feel like something beautiful could come forward from here, okay? And with this, your commitment is being tested. I feel like it's two things. Your, commis your commitment to your vision is being tested, and also your commitment to your feelings is being tested. But, like, if you, and I totally support that, like, not waiting around for anyone, um, totally on board. I, I do feel like with this surprising, it could be a little bit faster than you think, Okay? uh virgo through scorpio seasons could be significant or those signs all right you also have leo taurus libra gemini capricorn all right but uh which is actually like virgo taurus scorpio so that makes sense but and leo virgo <laughs> yeah leo virgo libra scorpio but this is what I have for you. So I really hope this resonated and helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really love to have you here. Um, if you want to dive deeper into any of this, we can get a private reading. The link is going to be down below. And you can also check out my Patreon for weekly messages around spiritual guidance, twin flames, divine counterparts, that kind of thing, and self-care. Okay? So with that being said, thank you so much for being here. I love you very much. I wish you the best. And I will see you in the next one. Hi there, my pal number four. Welcome into your reading. So if you chose the Manganu Cal site, this is definitely your pal. I'm feeling very, like, relaxed. <laughs> I don't know, very soft all of a sudden. I don't know why, but I guess we'll figure it out. Um, maybe I'm even getting, this could be a situation that is kind of... I was going to say, like, dying out on you. Maybe it's kind of fading away, or it's something that you're... Maybe it's something that you're trying to let go of and yeah i don't know let's take a look <laughs> we're going to have your kind of Im more immediate yes or no question uh or answer and then we're going to get a little bit more more insight into that we're also going to pull some oracles and more tarot just to get a little hint into why is it that answer and a little confirmation if it is truly that yes no or maybe so we have the seven of cups which <laughs> this usually talks about confusion so it would be a little bit of maybe um and we have the hanged man. I I feel like I need more information about this because I feel like it's it could be a yes, but there is a strong feeling of no right now. Like right now, there is no way that is gonna happen. Right now, it's super stagnant, stu super blocked. Um, some situation here is super blocked, and we even have here like a snake and everything. So it could be a little bit of a 
maybe don't totally trust the situation. So this could be more of a no, like a maybe leaning towards to the no. And I'm even getting with this hanged man, it could be that if it was a yes, it would turn your life a little bit upside down in maybe not in the most positive way. You would lose a little bit of perspective. But if it is a no, you will be able to get in alignment. You will be able to have a little bit more control over the situation. And there's also something about like you asserting yourself. And maybe if it was a yes, you would just be people pleasing and not really following your heart, not really following what you truly desire. If it was if if it was a no, you would be standing up for yourself and taking control over the situation, following your heart and really allowing your heart to walk through, right? But it's almost like you have to say no to something for you to have the outcome that you desire in the end. I hope that makes sense, but let's get a little bit more oracle around that. We have twin flame. Interesting. We have true love. Okay. We also have surrender. You've done everything you could. Y yeah. We also have grounding. We have stop. So this is my no card in this deck. We also have a new romantic cycle begins. That makes so much freaking sense. Adjustments are required and courage. I feel like this, this is truly around like... Something needs to give. And I feel like it is about... This is a no in terms of your current path. Because I feel like you want a new beginning. You want this twin flame, this true love, this new romantic cycle, right? It doesn't have to be about love at all. It's just twin flame and true love. New romantic cycle. This is all about your destiny. This is all about the things that are truly in line with you. And I feel like this situation that you're currently in. It already gave what it had to give. So I really feel like that that's why it may not be, it depends on the question that you're asking, right? So it, this is like, should I stay in this situation? It's a no. Should I go of this situation? It's a yes, right? There is this feeling of for you to truly achieve something that you want, you need to say no to something. You need to let go of something. You need to surrender and just give and adjust, do something new, have courage to say no and to go in a different direction. Okay, I feel like that is your answer. So now let's get a little bit more tarot to get more information around why is it that answer? <laughs> There's even this feeling of like, you may think that someone is your twin, but they're actually not. And you're about to meet your twin. Uh, and also, not all twin flames reunite. So it could be that, uh, will we get back together? No, at least not right now, okay? Uh, I feel like you have a life partner that you have uh, that f here for you to meet, okay? I feel like you have new beginnings to go to. And staying here in the situation, I don't think it's going to help. Because I feel like it would kind of be... It wouldn't be giving you enough. It wouldn't... If you, wish, if you were to stay in this situation, if you were to say yes to this... Um, it wouldn't be giving you deserve more there is truly this feeling it, it wouldn't be giving you what you truly deserve and i feel like you wouldn't totally be respecting yourself in a way you wouldn't totally be giving yourself what you need and what you desire and what you truly crave for in this moment okay and i feel like again ace of wands a new romantic cycle begins i feel like you have new opportunities here coming in really really fast it's almost like the second you say no to this a new op a new beginning a new door opens up straight away okay so i actually yeah i actually was getting a little bit of reverse energy for those so we have the emperor in reverse two of pentacles in reverse and six of pentacles in reverse if you were to stay in this situation it wouldn't be balanced and i feel like again it would be this feeling of you not taking a chance, um, taking, yeah, taking your chance on you. You're not giving yourself enough responsibility. You're not giving yourself control. You're not giving yourself, like, control of your life. I feel like you would be living that out to someone else. Maybe you would be living that out to the universe, which is valid. But I feel like the universe kind of wants you to choose, like, 
what is your vision? What do you truly want in your life? Maybe it's this true love, this twin flame. Maybe it's this destiny, my life purpose. For you to have that, you have to say, I want this. Okay. So say no to anything that is not that. Okay. I feel like your guys are like, you have to step up for us to be able to give you the blessing. You have to say no to something for us to be able to give you the blessing. Okay. Especially with the adjustments are required. It's like you need to shift your focus. I really feel like you could think that the career that you're in right now, it's your life purpose. It may not be. You need to shift a little bit and look into new opportunities. Um, again, you could think someone here is your twin flame divine counterpart and you actually have that waiting for you in a new opportunity. It could be, should I um, stay here in this situation, in this home? Should I stay home um, where I'm currently living? The answer is no, because you have... A beautiful home that is going to give you what you truly need. Maybe even when it comes to people, the people that you're living with. If the answer is, should I move on? Or if the question is, should I move on? Should I move out? Should I start this new career project? The answer is absolutely yes. Okay? If it is something that comes from you. If it is something that empowers you. Okay? In that case, the answer is yes. There is this feeling of like leaving something behind for you to be able to get into a new begin. All right. Yeah. So, pound number four, this is what I have for you. I really hope this helped and resonated somehow. Um, if it did, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you are interested in diving deeper into any of this, we can get a private reading. The link is going to be down below. And you can also check out my Patreon for weekly messages around twin flames, divine counterparts. Uh, spiritual guidance as well we always talk about like if the feminine and masculine is your own feminine and masculine energies and how you can deal with those how you can balance out those energies and also self-care so that is all going to be on patreon um i hope you enjoyed <laughs> maybe there's like someone from here that is signing up to patreon so i felt called to say i hope you enjoyed it thank you for <laughs> thank you for signing up for that um but yeah so with that being said i love you very much i wish you the best and i'll see you in the next one Bye. -bye.